Hello, and welcome to my next executive series video. Our topic is distribution. Aaron Snyder here from Quality Systems Explained, where we make quality systems simple for you. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. If this is the first executive series video that you've seen, please go back and check out the introduction. Look at the video description for links to any supporting information and a summary of the material that we will cover. In the executive series, we have a standard agenda which covers four main areas. You can see those in the progress bar. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video for those three bonus questions. Our requirement, distribution, comes directly from 820.160 and 1345 sections 4.2.3, 7.1, and 7.5.9.2. Distribution in five words. Distribute approved devices. Maintain records. We can only distribute approved, released, conforming products that meet our customer requirements. We have to have a procedure that defines how we review purchase orders, find errors and correct those errors to ensure that we can fulfill the customer requirements. We have to maintain distribution records to support remedial action if we find some quality issue with the product after it's shipped. Our distribution records have to include the name and address of the initial consignee, the devices shipped, the date they were shipped, and any control numbers. So how do I know this is working? Well first, I have a procedure in place that outlines how I review purchase orders for errors and how I correct those errors before the purchase order is accepted. Second, I only distribute approved conforming products. Third, I ensure that I can meet the customer requirements before I distribute those products. And then finally, I maintain all my distribution records to support any remedial actions that may need to be taken later. So how do I know this is not working? Well first, I just accept every PO that comes my way. I'm not reviewing the POs to make sure they're accurate. I'm not looking for errors, and I'm really, I don't have a defined process for analyzing purchase orders. Second, I've shipped product that is non-conforming, deteriorated, or just doesn't meet my customer requirements. Third, I don't have the needed distribution records to support any potential remedial actions. Finally, I don't have the name and address of the initial consignee for who I sent the product to. Now for those three bonus questions. First, where do we maintain our distribution records? Second, how do we review POs to ensure that they are accurate and there are no errors? And then finally, how do we ensure that we can meet customer requirements before we distribute product to them? Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, share, and comment. If you have any questions, please send me an email at qms.jedi at gmail.com. This is Aaron Snyder from Quality Systems Explained. Never stop learning.